Hi there, this is Renee from Floating Lights Photography. You're watching another episode of Focus Wednesdays. And today I'm gonna to show you how to sharpen an image and then selectively sharpen only parts of an image. So we're gonna start with this image here. It is straight out of camera. I haven't done any touch-ups or anything to it. And I'm going to start with duplicating the background layer. So to do that on a Mac, you're gonna hit Command J. On a PC, it's Control J. And you've created the second layer here. Now before I start, I just want to say that my way of sharpening is probably not the same as others' way of sharpening. This is the way that I was taught, it's the way that I use, I do this on every image that I have. It's not the only way, so if you sharpen a different way, um, that's totally fine. This is just how I sharpen my images. So I've duplicated my background layer, and I'm going to go up to Filter, and I'm going to hit Other, and High Pass. And it's going to look a little bit funny, and that is totally fine. We like it to look funny. So you're going to make sure your radius is somewhere between 25 and 35. I usually pick 30. That's just kind of my standard sharpening for me. So I'm going to hit OK. And now you're going to say, it doesn't look sharp. You're right. We're going to have to change the blend mode on this layer. So you're going to come up to this little drop-down menu, and you're going to select Soft Light and that is going to sharpen your photo. So here is the before with no sharpening. Here is the after with sharpening. Now this is a little bit much for my liking, so I always adjust the opacity somewhere between 40 and 50, so I'm gonna select 40 for this image. And if it was going straight to print or if it was going on Facebook, this is how I would sharpen the image. I would just leave it at 40 and that would be it. So I'm gonna call this overall sharpening. Now I want to just make her eyes pop and her lips maybe and just bring a little bit more detail back into the photo and that's called selective sharpening. And so to selectively sharpen, we're gonna do something very similar. So we're gonna go back to our background layer. We're gonna hit Command J to duplicate or Control J to duplicate. We're gonna go up to filter again and again we're gonna go to high pass. We're gonna leave our radius the same at 30 pixels and we're gonna hit OK. One more time, we're gonna come down to the drop-down menu and we're gonna hit Soft Light. However, this time we're gonna add a layer mask to this layer. So we're gonna come down here and hit this little button at the bottom that's the square with the circle in the middle of it and it's gonna add a layer mask to this photo. Now the final step to this is making sure your layer mask is selected and then inverting the layer mask. And to do that, you're gonna hold down Command or Control and hit I on your keyboard and it's going to invert your layer mask. So it's concealed this layer and we can use a white brush to paint on what we want to show or reveal. So we are going to, I'm just going to rename this Selective Sharpening. We're going to take a white brush, so our foreground color is set to white and our opacity is somewhere between 50 and 60 and we're going to paint the sharpening onto the photo. So make sure that your layer mask is selected, not your layer. You have to have all four of these little corners over top of the black layer mask. And then you're going to use your brush and paint on this sharpening onto the photo. So I'm just going to paint over her eyes and her lips a little bit. And then maybe just somewhere where you'd like a little bit more detail. And that is all I'm going to do. So. Here is the before the selective sharpening, and here is the after. And so to do the whole photo, I'll show you the before and after. Here's the before with no sharpening at all. We added the overall sharpening to the image, which just popped it just a little bit and sharpened it up. And then we added selective sharpening just to her eyes and her lips. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at hello at floatinglightsphoto.com, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash floatinglightsphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.